Well, hey guys, how you doing? Good. good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> this is the second season. I'm so excited to have you guys all back. How is this season different for you guys than last season? They're, they're very unique and they're completely different from the cast of last year, which makes it really fun. No one can compare the people and say, she reminds me of Lindsay or he reminds me of Sandal. Mm -hmm. There's none of that. They all, they're very, very diverse and different. Do you think that this cast has a little bit, little bit of a difference because they got to see what the other cast went through already? Yes. Oh, for sure. Like we were just commenting how this cast has come in very serious and prepared. Like they know what challenges are ahead. They know what to expect from the three of us and they're, they're ready for it. What's been the most difficult part for you guys as mentors? Well, it's, I think it's all difficult. I mean, it's hard. It, you have to evaluate each person, the process, that's all tough. And then it's always extremely difficult letting a person go. That's tough. Picking the bottom three and then having to mm -hmm. see the one person go home, I think is, is really difficult. For me, the hardest thing is just the time constraints. And I, for you as well, it's like, it, it moves fast and it, it moves the same speed as the scripted show, but we know those actors and we know that cast and we know how to accelerate the process. But here it's literally starting over. It's tough. I mean, when you think you've got all these individual talents and individual individual personalities that you're supposed to get to know in, I mean, really a week's time and then try to help mentor them and critique them in a way that they'll respond and get better. And that's that's something that usually takes a while, not just mm -hmm. like a you know, two hour session. What do you like best about working on the Glee project? Oh I, I like I like at all, but I really do love getting to know the kids and watching the kids and kind of living vicariously through them. And I think anybody in the business gets into it because we love that initial thing about it, that, that, that truth that it has when you're young. And so you see it again and we all can kind of live through them, I think. I agree with Robert. There is something, um, you reach a certain point in your career and you feel like it's time to sort of pass the baton, so to speak, and what you've learned along the way. And um, I know I've had a heart for that for a while, and this allows me the opportunity to kind of, you know, pass on whatever little tidbits I've learned. You know, a lot of these contenders just would never have this opportunity. And, and there are so many talented people that, you know, just don't get the, it just sort of passes them. And it's like life gets in the way and they have to, you know, we have so many amazing stories that are attached to all of, you know, our contenders that it's, it's almost nice just to see them step away from all the pressure that they have to just to go on with their lives and be able to sort of fall into our everyday world of, of you know, singing and dancing mm -hmm. and put it on tape. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think it's nice that you know, Glee is, is wonderful to cast and you get the opportunity to see a lot of people but 99% are with agents. And here, to be able to go across the world and find people that, like you said, would never, ever have the chance is just really fun. The Glee Project Season 2, coming this summer, only on Oxygen. Live out loud.